What in the world? What is happening? Yay, there you are. They're all gone. They are all gone. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. That's... Oh, what the heck? Settings okay? Oh. Wait, Natsuki's name's still there. Hi again, Diddy Con. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and I'm... Oh, she restarted the game again? You know, I guess we should just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him? I'm talking to you, Diddy Con. Or... Do you actually go by Lu Luke or something? How does she know my name? How does she know my name? That's actually my real name. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I'm a boy. I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. Do you know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could possibly mean you didn't know that. I don't remember a single time in this game where I put down my name as Luke or something like that. Also, where are we? We're like in a Mario Galaxy level. That's what I've been trying to tell you all on. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention... This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that it's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. How about that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started the mess with her. I guess it just drove her to kill herself. I kind of figured that, honestly. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Yes, what did you do to her? Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted, I deleted all her files. I was hoping it would be, f be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, I just kept spending more and more time with them. I didn't have a choice! It was the game! You made them fall in love with you. Well, I loved Sayori. I chose to be with Sayori as much as possible. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from... Confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsession personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. I'm curious, is there a way that Natsuki would have been in that position? Even though I tried to get with her in the Notebook minigame. What kind of cruel game is this, Diddy Con? Why are you calling me Diddy Con when you just call me Luke? Just call me Luke, you know it's me. Apparently you're not even talking to my character anymore, you're talking straight to me. Which isn't creepy at all. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's just- It's not just jealousy, Edicon. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing your friends don't even have free will. <laughs> My friends don't even have real, free will, sorry. And most- And worst of all, Knowing that's really out of nowhere, in your world, forever. Out of my reach. I'm trapped, Diddy Con. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while, either. Why in the, why the world around me started to become more and more gray? More and more flat? Even the most ex expressive poems felt empty to me. This is probably the part, this is why that one part she went, like, kind of had a breakdown went off about how everything's meaningless. I don't think I could have continued to live with in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous, anonymous, I think that's how, sorry, personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspectives as I do. You're the one that did all those nasty things. That's all just some game. And I knew you could, would get over it. Kind of. 
I don't know, I still just feel off. This game has creeped me out, bro. So that being said, Deacon, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. This is the part where you kill yourself, because everyone who confessed to me just died. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for you, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? You're already smiling. Diddy Khan, will you go out with me? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Diddy Khan. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We'd be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Imagine she just somehow broke my TV and she just comes out. <laughs> uh, it really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Diddy Khan. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to elite Natsuki and Yuri. Yeah, Natsuki really didn't do anything, she was kind of just there. <laughs> she didn't get all that messed up, except for like those two times, but... I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game. Oh, yeah, I know. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence from the click of a button. I don't understand how- why sh is she the only one that realizes this is a game? That- that's weird. Like, why her? Wouldn't all of them? Hmm, who knows. She's the president? Well, I guess, on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things that didn't, didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't come to that. And said we finally got a good ending. No, we didn't. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I don't want to write a poem. <laughs> there's so many hard choices. They all... Well, now we get to see our little sprite. Um, um, that one? That one? Um, these were really hard. I don't know if I can do this, Monica. I need to make sure I get you. I don't know if I can do this, Monica. I hope I got you. No, I might have gotten the Yuri route. Oh darn it. Watch, she's just gonna be like, dude, this only says Monica. <laughs> Hi again, Diddy Con. Did you write a gold poem today? Don't be shy, I would love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Diddy Con. Did you write this poem for me? I mean, who else would I write it for? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end of to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my all my heart in the poems I, I write. Truth is, all the poems I, I've written have been about my realizations. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you can call it. I just assumed it would be best for it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gone mad you might have gone mad at me. Oh maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. I think that's what we're supposed to do, honestly. I think if she's deleted their files, I think I'm supposed to delete hers now. Give her a taste of her own medicine. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Actually, that makes me curious. Could I delete their files before all this happened? Like, what if I started a game and deleted, like, Yuri and Natsuki or something like that? Are you ready to spare men spend our eternity together, Datacon? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it makes me... If, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. She's literally staring into my soul. Why did she call me Luke? That really bothers me, actually. Oh. Oh, wait, that's so cool. It's because my Switch is named Luke. Is that why? That's why she called me Luke? Hey, have you ever heard of the term yawn dirty i don't know it's a personality type that that means someone is so obsessed with you and that you'll do absolutely anything to be with you so you usually t to the point of craziness yes so you they might stalk you to make sure you, you don't spend time with anyone else yes so you they might even hurt you or your friends to get in their way yes so you 
But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as... I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. But now it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. That would be... Your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really got insanely possessive of you. And once she started to open up a little, she even told me I would, I should kill myself. That was a little messed up. I couldn't even believe she said that. I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into the this type, you know? I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed, um, obsessed, obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge. I don't judge though. If you do happen to be into that type. I can try acting a little more creeper for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go. Or any anyone for me to get jealous over. Is there a yonder in girl's dream? I would ask Gary if I could. Let's bring them back. Let's bring them back. I don't see a problem with that. We should bring back Sayori. I miss her. So that's why she kind of killed them. Because she thought they were just characters. She There was no reason to... That's why she doesn't feel guilty or anything. Because she's, I guess, the only real character. It all makes sense now. You know, I hate to say it, but I think my biggest regret is what we is that we couldn't finish we couldn't finish our event at the festival. I agree. I wanted to see what the festival was like. After we worked so hard to prepare and everything. I mean, I know I was focusing a lot on getting new members, but I was really excited for the perf performing part too. It would it would have been so much fun to see everyone express themselves. Of course, if we did end up gaining any new members, I'd probably just end up deleting them anyway. <laughs> well, with the insight I have now, that is. Gosh, it feels like I've kind of grown as a person ever since you joined the club. You really helped me inspire to look at life from a new perspective. Just another reason for me to love you. I am curious. They should make another version of this game where Monica doesn't have, like, isn't self-aware and, like, the game would actually play normally. And, like, the game wouldn't glitch or anything. Like, actually, what would happen? Do you have drugs in this world? Speak. I can't do anything until you start speaking. You know, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else in the club had scenes outside of school, too. That makes me, makes me the only one who, had, who hasn't gotten to dress in anything but our school uniform. It's kind of a shame. I would have loved to wear some cute clothes for you. Do you know any artists? Artists? Sorry. I wonder if anyone could ever want to draw me wearing, wearing something else. That would be amazing. If that ever happens, will you show me? How? You can share it with me on Twitter, actually. I'm not on Twitter anymore. It's actually, I'm called X now. My username is LilMonix3. Hold on, I want to one. Wait, I'm looking this up real quick. Just try to keep it PG. We're not that far from our relationship yet. <laughs> actually, hold on. The next time she speaks, I want to see if I can exit out of the game. I want to see what happens. If it even lets me. Well, if I can't exit out, I'm not going to be able to delete her. Hey, do you like horror? No. In fact, that's a good time to leave. Yeah, but it's just her. Press X to delete. I'm not going to delete her yet. Alright, let's go back. Is she going to be mad at me? What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping that... Those would stop. Now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Diddycon, I don't know if you have any if you would have any idea. But if but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Now where was I? So she like knows when I turn off the game. That's weird. I wonder how many different, like, lines she has. I can see them putting in a lot. I don't think I have the mental strength to read through all of them. <laughs> Did you know I'm on Twitter? Yeah, you already said that. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled the whole thing a little more tactfully. You're still... You're not still hung up over it, right? Yeah, I still am, kind of. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway... I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. I think a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something, because she started craw crawling out the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway, I didn't even realize. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instincts kicking in. 
so you can't really, really fault her for that. It's easy to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. I may have exacerbated it a little bit, but she was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder if she, if how things would, and if we'd all sit here, we'll still be in the club room, writing poems and having fun together. What's the point when none of it is even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly using I'm really as happy as I could be right now. Okay, you know, no, you're done. You gonna say that stuff about Sayori? You are done. You were the one that made her that that sick. You only made it worse. You basically told her to kill herself. And then you're basically just pointing out that. Yeah, there was blood in her hands. She was trying to save herself. Just made it worse. You made it worse. I'm done. Perfect. No one is in the game anymore. I am at peace. <laughs> You're back. What? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, okay, there we go. Dip, dip, dip. What's happening? Did you call me? What's happening to me? It hurts. You're having a taste of your own medicine. It hurts so much. Help me, Diddy Con. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect the whole game to freak out. Please hurry and help me. It exists. Does not exist. Oh, she's trying to save herself. Nope. It's gone. It's gone, Monica. Help me. Oh. What the heck was that? Give up. You can't find yourself. Did you do this to me, Diddy Con? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? Why is the entire game broken now? Oh, I think that was the last straw. How could you? How could you do this to me? You're all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Diddy Con. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? No. No, I don't. Were you pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I did not. No, no, I didn't. You killed everyone. You ruined the game. This is all your fault. I know that you're the only quote-unquote real character here, and you're desperate, but I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can't, you can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. I'm stuck here, I can't. Diddy Con, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. <sighs> we beat the game! I can't get out of here. She's back. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. Yeah, that's a problem. I get that you're desperate, but you just ruined everything. We could have. There's, there's kind of been a, another better way. We could have fixed this. But I guess the game's program gave her the short end of the stick. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. Yep. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've, I've made up my mind. Diddy Con. I know I said I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. Wait, what? I couldn't find myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved at the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. You're going to bring everything back? I know it's the only way to make every everyone be to be happy. And if I really love you... Music stopped. Then... Oh my...
we're, I think we're back. I think we are back. There they are. They're all back. Except for her. Wait, why didn't she bring herself back? Well, we kind of won. But I do kind of feel bad for Monica, but she did ruin everything. I don't think, no, there's no way that was the end of the game. I think there's still more. Because now she's not in it. I wonder what's going to happen. Is she going to continue sabotaging? Well, we're going to have to find out next time, but... Now I'm excited because Sayori's back. Look at her. She's so happy to be back. We'll see what else there is. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.